Good evening, Nancy. So I forgot to give you five extra verbs. So we did the ten first. Now we are uh, explaining to bite. Uh, to bite, to take a bite, to have a mosquito bite. Beat, beaten. Okay? It's a short E. Beat, beaten. Bleed, bled, bled. Blow, blue, blown. Okay, you can blow a candle. To break, broke, broken. So we have one, two, three, four. Now the last one. Breed, bread, bread. Um, it's like animal breed, the different... We don't say races, like the different types of animals, like the breed. Or to breed is to have uh, the male and female having, uh, you know, animals or children. Okay, it's breeding. Okay, so to bite, to bleed, to blow, to break, to breed, bite, bleed, blow, break, breed. Okay, so now, uh, that's something different here. I'm just looking for the right. So let's do a few expressions here. That's where it's done. I think well, we did this one. We also, well, that was in the previous video, so I also gave you that. Um, how was it? How did it go? Did everything go okay? Did you have fun? That's concerning a journey or a vacation. Did you take any pictures? Uh, do you have pictures? Were the locals friendly? Were the natives friendly? Did you bring me anything? We missed you. We missed you around here. We've missed you around here. It just wasn't the same without you. So I explained everything in the previous video. This is Conversation on American English. Huh? That's page, uh, page, page four. And now we have the small talk, expressing your state of health and happiness. Fine. Sorry about that. I'm fine. I'm cool. Keeping cool. Dandy. It's not common. Fine and dandy. Not common at all. Great. Couldn't be better. Happy as a clam. Not really. Yeah, you can hear it. It's not that popular. It depends where you are. But I would say focus on I'm fine. I'm cool. Keeping cool. Great. Couldn't be better. Uh, okay, all right. Can't complain or I can't complain. Sorry, the day was really uh, heavy on work and uh, so I can't complain so hey how are you how are you doing how's it how's it going well I can't complain I'm fine right now okay no complaints I have nothing to complain about so what is your financial situation well I have no nothing to complain about it can be from a different context okay telling how you have been doing positive keeping busy keeping myself busy being keeping myself busy keeping out of trouble so I'm not making any uh, any problems, I'm not creating any any issues, so keeping out of trouble, being keeping out of trouble, being up to no good. So that's for somebody who is used to create problems. So he's is up to no good. Okay, so meaning like he's gonna probably try to do something bad. Being up to no good. Okay, that's a past. In keeping my nose clean, it's like you are out of trouble. Okay, you don't want to uh, to be in trouble. Okay, so let's stop here, and I'll give you some uh, expressions. Actually, I should uh, I should do something else. Uh, boost your vocabulary. That's number three. So I have to go a bit further. This one, and. We finish. So basically, there are many, many, you know, many things you don't really need because we have also British. There's British and American list words. Okay. So those guys we don't need to have long, straight hair, medium length, wavy hair. I wear my hair in bunches, in a ponytail, uh, in dreadlocks, in or they are tied back or up. Listen, Tracy, spots are quite normal for people all of our age. Just don't worry about them. 
That's like me here. Okay. Next, I ask you to do this exercise and the other one. Don't forget. And we did this exercise number four. Tracy and Wayne have tried a lot of hairstyles, so we need to describe them. It's wavy, ponytail, spiky, dreadlocks, frizzy, curly, and what do we have here? Cropped. So uh, we have the bunches, we have the long, straight hair, let's say curly. And this is a French, which we don't say in English, American English, we say the bangs, B-A-N-G-S. So, and also we explain these guys. How would you describe these people? Underline the correct words. So, so he has an oval face, thick eyebrows, uh, fair skinned, and curly hair. Leonardo DiCaprio's got a square face, I guess. He's fair skinned. Uh, I would say quite small eyes and a big nose. Do you remember he had a big nose? Um, I would say he has thin hair, but I'm not sure. And also short hair. And we have Venus Williams. She's a tennis player, an American tennis player. Uh, she has a oval face, she has curly hair, and she wears her hair back, okay, tied back. It's in the back, and there's nothing on top. So now, uh, American Edways, we did it, this is number three. Actually, I was trying to read this one, okay, so we finished... Uh, we did this exercise on page, I believe it's page 13. So I'm going to just give you the, the right answers. Where do you go on vacation? I come from Taiwan. This is a great party. Everyone is dancing. I don't have a cell phone. Uh, so he doesn't wear a uniform. Wear speed. He's sitting by the window. Well, it's currently he's currently sitting by the window. I like black coffee. Next, the, so we need to to give five main important things in in America. We can say the Statue of Liberty, uh, maybe the World Trade Center, um, you know, any kind of bridge, the Disneyland, the food, not really. Um, some beers, not really, so you know it's quite limited. But also, it's we have a lot of uh, professional opportunities, so it's a great place for that. So living in the United States every year, tens of thousands of people from around the world travel to the United States to study or visit, also to work. But what is it like to live there? How do people like the U.S. when they first arrive? What do you think of the people and the way of life? Okay, so here is New York, and this is the World Trade Center, which doesn't really appear anymore. I'm gonna change the position because I'm not really comfortable like that. So, uh, so we have three different characters. We have Roberto, Andre, and Yot. So Roberto is from Mexico. This one is from Hungary, and she's from Hong Kong. Roberto came from Mexico to New York 10 years ago. At first, he missed everything, the sunshine, the food, his girlfriend, but now he has a successful business with his three brothers and his sister. They run a soccer tour in the small town near New York. Roberto's girlfriend is now his wife, and they have two children. When asked why he came to the United States, Roberto says, without any hesitation, because I want to work hard and have my own business. He certainly works hard. He's at the store all day, then works at the, as a driver in the evening, so he has two jobs. That's why I like America. You say, he says, you can be whatever you want. Okay. When I first came here, I only spoke Spanish. Then I went to high school and learned English. The people were friendly, but I missed my family. Now... Nearly all my family are here. We meet 
about once a month and we have a huge Mexican meal that takes about five hours. We're all happy here. Now, Anthony is a professor of uh, Rogers University, New, Jer New Jersey. He came from Budapest 13 years ago. I had an opportunity to come here for two years. After a year, his wife came to him to join him. And since then, they've had a daughter, so they decided to stay. At first, it was very strange because it's so big. He says, I started to feel happy when I bought a car. Now I go everywhere by car. In, in by car, in Hungary, we only use a car on weekends. But here, your car, here, your car is part of your life. Nobody walks anywhere. What do they think of the people? Very friendly. The first question anybody or everybody ask you is, where are you from? People talk to you here, they start conversations. What about the way of life? The thing I like the best is the independence. Nobody tells me what to do. Here you can do what you want. So you learn to make decisions for yourself. I feel in control. Okay. And that's a Chinese woman. What? You what? It's a Chinese name, but in English it's, she's shown as Clara. She came to the United States eight years ago and studied fine art. Now she works on Madison Avenue for a publishing company. She married a Vietnamese American three years ago and they live in a suburb of New York. They don't have any children yet. How does she like working in New York? How does she like working in New York? It's very similar to Hong Kong. It's a bit busy, very exciting and people walk very fast. I like the stores here, they are huge and cheaper than Hong Kong. In Hong Kong, everybody uses public transportation because it's good and cheap, but you need a car here. At first, I hated driving, but it's okay now. What does she like best? The space. Here, I live in a house with a, with a yard in Hong Kong, it's so crowded and the people here are friendly. When I go jogging, everyone says hi and the food is from every country in the world because you don't have good American food. Okay, so, uh, so this one, that's the end. So I have to check to show you something, but I don't remember. That's this one. No. Nope. So we did like to be composed of, uh, uh, to fill out a lot of plenty of etc etc. Okay. So I know I have it somewhere. Mm. Not this one. Okay, those guys uh, to dress up is to you know to dress up is to put a suit on with a with a tie if you're a guy to wear fancy clothes for a special occasion to fall asleep is to go to bed I'm currently falling asleep because I had a very 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 hard day and the next page well you don't need this vocabulary just focus on to dress up to fall asleep and uh, this is the one. It's not two. Yeah, to fall asleep, to dress up, to come across, to fill out, uh, to give some information on the form or an application, so you fill out the blanks. Okay, and the other one. So this one. So you explained everything, okay, it's uh, a, a couple of, of days, I'm going to take a, a couple of days of a long time ago, can also mean like once upon, once upon a time, a lot of, a large amount of, of something, a pair of, a pair of shoes or a pair of boots, etc. Okay, 
And the last one, that's all the pills. No, it's not showing anything else. But anyway, so we also talked about, you know, uh, a couple of several, so you didn't have any problems on this level, so just keep in mind uh, we use them all the time. Let me check the transcript. And I was trying to move the screen, but theme, the breads, you know, that's like an Afro style. Okay. Go to see the pharmacy to fill out to write all necessary information um, for a uh, form application or a form. A couple of days ago, several days ago, a long time ago, long ago. So a couple of days, so we can specify a couple of months, etc., etc. Once upon a time, start any kind of uh, tell stories. A lot of a pair of. What can we think about when we think about America? We need to come up with some big symbols. Well, we have the dollar as well. We can have the, um, the US flag, etc. So burrito is what you can eat. You can try one once in a while. So it's a behavior, a comportement. Pushy is like to be a bit aggressive with what you want, to be pushy. You don't take no for an answer. To make a mess in the house, which drives me crazy. Okay, and we talked about the private space. So meaning like you cannot be too close to people; they don't like it. And the difference between to talk to someone and talk with someone is more like to talk to is not really a deep conversation. And talk with someone, there is an exchange, an interaction. So question, answer, we share different ideas, feelings, etc. Okay, but it's not always respected. Just keep in mind. That is it. I hope I didn't forget. I haven't forgotten anything. Uh, so let's see each other on Friday. I have to wake up at 5 a.m. in order to start some uh, some classes. Uh, I can feel, I, I'm, I'm really feeling drained completely right now. So I really forced myself to make this recording without yawning. But uh, still, um, I hope you are appreciated. And I'll see you Friday at 9.30. You take care and see. Bye-bye.